Today I'm getting back to one of my uh, long-awaited projects. Uh, this is uh, working from a perfection kerosene heater that I bought. It was a pretty much a basket case when I got it. It had a lot of rust on it, on the body of it. I got that painted up and now it's time to work on the uh, fuel tank. Uh, what I've done is I've taken a 3M pad, cleaned up all the rust on it, and when the, I uh, got all the rust off it, it revealed the holes that were at the bottom of the tank. I've seen a previous repair job here with solder. And we've got uh, three main areas right around this area, this area, a little bit here, and okay, four areas, this area there, and maybe one more there that's got holes in it. I'm going to try to repair it with JB Weld. With the JB Weld, you can buy it in the tubes, and what you got to do is take roughly equal parts of the JB Weld, mix them together, and then once you have a pretty good consistency of it, then you're gonna, I'm going to spread it on the holes and see if I can make my repairs. I'll let it uh, set overnight sand it down and then I should be ready to start uh, having fuel stored in it again and uh, have my heater back uh, up and going. So I got a pretty good consistency there. So I'll take a little dab of it. may have to do this a second round if the holes are too deep. Hopefully I can uh, glob enough in there that all I really have to do is sand it down uh, once tomorrow rolls around. Basically, it looks like I got all my areas covered except for this one. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to sand down the others. I'll come back and I'll try to hit that one up so I can make it as smooth as uh, as the rest of the surrounding metal. Then I can put a paint job on it, put a new fresh wick in it, and take my heater back to a working order.